Hello, this is the ITV Morning News. I'm Jackie Cabler. The fighting in Afghanistan has claimed the life of a friend and comrade to both Prince William and Prince Harry. You're watching the news hour on GMTV. Still to come, we'll be live to Battersea for the real life soap story. Just how did what's described as a silly row? Well, the international cricket community has been giving its reactions to this morning's terrorist attacks in Pakistan. Now, the Cricket Australia chief executive, James Sutherland, the temperature has plummeted overnight in some places to minus 10. Well, we've got to look ahead now. Yeah. So first of all, it has to be Charles Kennedy. How long do you give him? Okay, listen, Richard, thank okay, you so Richard, much cheers, for joining us. Thanks an awful lot. We're just going to do um, some breaking news now. The England squad for the World Cup qualifiers against Andorra and Croatia on September 6th and September 10th have been announced. We've got it on our breaking news ticker on the screen there. At that meeting last night was Ian Huntley. He's the on-site manager for the Village College here. He's also the last known person to speak to Holly and Jessica the night they disappeared. This is what a street looks like six days after a flood. It's completely ruined on the ground floor. With the receding waters, there are more problems because, of course, now we're starting to see the sewage and the unpleasant things lurking under the water. GMTV keeps you in the picture. The tsunami caused death and destruction on an unprecedented After Indonesia, scale. Sri Lanka was the worst hit with 32,000 deaths. Two-thirds of the country's coastline was devastated and half a million people were made homeless. The government has now banned rebuilding within 100 metres of the coastline. Inflation is heading above 4% this year, and according to the Governor of the Bank of England, there's very little, if anything, we can do about it. Sarika's fight to wear the car began as a matter of school discipline and ended up as a major court case with Sikhs around the world awaiting the outcome. Today, they're hailing it. It works out at around a fiver to hire a tuk-tuk for half a day. It's well worth it. Hello there and welcome to the Sunday Football Show here on Satanta Sports News. I'm Jackie Cabler and I'm here with our panel of experts to guide you through the best of the weekend's action and of course the talking points dominating today's back pages. This is an 83-year-old steam pipe which runs under the streets of Manhattan for industrial purposes and it for some reason exploded. Now these were scenes reminiscent of 9-11. Well, Barack Obama's flat stomach and defined muscles are said to be the result of regular grueling 45-minute gym sessions. So what do those exercising in this London gym think of the results? Meanwhile, our leader off duty is rather more modest, maybe to everyone's great relief. Jackie Cabler, News at 10. I think it's about time he goes from Man U because he's too old, all controversial. So I think he should retire. I think he's the most hated manager in the Premier League. Gosh, that's Chris's views. Come on, let's go. Peter, you must be Peter. Yes, I am. Good morning. Oh, yes. Congratulations, oh. you won the <laughs> We're in Northampton with all the family. Good morning. <laughs> Those champagnes out. We've already had tears when they saw Lisa in a dress. And we've already we're right hearing reports on the local radio of specialised flooding on roads in this area. Good morning, John. I'm not at all worried this morning. I'm about to try to talk to a pig on live television and expect it to talk back to me. But there you go. Let's just see if some food will work. I love this. I knew this was going to work beautifully. Hello, Mouse. <laughs> Okay, all right. Mouse isn't talking this morning, but just to prove I'm not making it up and I haven't gone completely doolally, here's a little clip of her actually saying hello. Hello. 